Okay, so let's take a look at the shape tool in Illustrator CS6. As we take a look at the shape tool, we also will address color. All right, so here goes our shape tool. We come on over to our tool panel and we can click and here is our shape tool. Now, what we want to take a look at too with this, whenever there's that little arrow in the lower right corner, we can click and it's a tear off. So, and it's a little tricky. What we got to do is we got to come, we got to whoop, roll down like so, and then we can tear it off. Okay. Sometimes getting um, exactly how to do it takes a couple tries, but it's you'll you'll get it. Okay, so here goes. Now loaded into uh, Illustrator, we can see we have our different shapes: our star tool, polygon tool, ellipse, rounded rectangle, a rectangle tool, and we also have a flare tool. Now what we want to take a look at with our color is right down below we have our fill. With our color also we may want to, you know, we can open this up, we can see our color guide, our color and our color guide right in here. And we can also open up and take a look at our swatches. Okay. Uh, now if we want to have more than one open, I want to pull out my swatches here. Um, and I also want to pull out my, my color and my color guide. Okay, these are the main ones that we're going to be working with right now. So I want to be able to see all of them now. What else I could do is I could actually drag them and drop them in like that. So now my color, my color guide, and my swatches are the three that I want to be working with. So we could say when we work with color, th these three are really good places that we're going to be working. And we'll get a little bit more into these in a minute. All right, so we come on down to uh, the bottom of our tool and we have our fill and our stroke. Okay, so let's actually just change our fill for a minute. I can double click. I can come on into my color picker. I can, you know, now let's say that I had an exact number. Okay, I could actually get the number for the color and put it in here. And sometimes you'll find yourself matching and working in that in that way. So I hit OK. First thing I want to do is I want to just grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Voila, I have drawn my first shape. Okay, now let's take a look real quickly too. There's some major differences in Illustrator and it's the difference between the selection tool and the direct selection tool. Here goes. And I think it's pretty clear, right? The black arrow, the selection tool, when I click, I select the entire object. I move the entire object around. Okay. Now, when I select the white arrow, I can select certain points. Okay. So I can come on in, and what we what we note about uh, Illustrator is that Illustrator is a vector-based drawing program. So all of the shapes that we draw are based on anchor points and paths. So with my white arrow, I can click in and I can select and I can just move one point and alter my shape. All right, again, now, but if I click right in here, right, I can move the whole thing. It really depends on where you click with the white arrow. So I could click right into the anchor point. Now, if I zoom in, I can tell that I have, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, um, which, which, which anchor point I have selected. And I can tell because when I look at this, See how this anchor point is white? That's not the selected one, okay? This one is my selected one, so I could click it and I can move it, and I have altered my shape, okay? All right, so let's take a look at some other things within our shape tools. All right, so let's say we, we draw this first shape, and then we wanna copy and paste this. We can say edit, copy, edit, paste in front, Okay, let's say that I want to move this over right like so. Okay, now when I have my black arrow, I get this box around it too. I could also come on in if you don't have that box and grab the free transform tool. Uh, a lot of times too, when you double click these tools, uh, sometimes you'll get an opening for it. I could click this one, the transform up here. I could say, okay, I want to transform this 90 degrees. But many times what you're going to find you're going to do instead is drag it, pull it, do whatever it is that, that you do with it. 
All right, moving right along, coming into our shape tool just a little bit more. Um, let's say we come on in and we grab a circle. Let's say we want to change the color, but let's actually change how we're going to choose the color. Now, what we're seeing here right now, we come on into the swatches. Um, let's say this color that I just created. Now, what's great about Illustrator is that whatever colors you work with will be saved with the document that you are working on. Okay. Um, so let's say that, you know, I want to choose a different color. I could come on in and choose it directly from my swatches. All right. And if I did this right and I wanted to draw my circle, I could just come on in and click and draw my circle one more time. All right. Now, if you want a perfect, uh, perfect circle, you can hold down the shift tool for that too. Let's say I wanted to change my stroke. I come on up and say, hmm, I want this to be two points. You can see it getting a little bit bigger. I could change how the stroke looks. Okay, the, the possibilities are endless. There's lots of possibilities here. Um, and there we have it. All right. Um, now, within the swatches too, there's swatch libraries. So you could come on in and say, you know what? I want to stick with all ice cream colors. Okay, and let's say that I, I like this one. I can even drag it and drop it on over into my swatches over here so I can see it. Um, and then, you know, what I can do is come on in and say, hey, I want to change. I want to change this to an ice cream color. So I would just click and now I have my ice cream inspired um, piece that I'm creating here. All right, so I can even change this, you know, change the stroke on this, make it all look pretty more um, similar. Coming on in. All right, so there we go. There we have it. Now, a lot of times you're going to find with the shapes, what you're going to do is you're going to end up grouping shapes. So how do I go about doing that? Let's say that I wanted to um, take this little pattern I have, take these three shapes and then copy and paste them. Well, I would need to select them all and then group them. And we'll do this quite a bit as we work in Illustrator. So here goes. How do you select more than one object? Well, we could click. I can see I have this selected. I can hold down Shift and click. Now I have all three selected. Now what I want to do is I want to come up to Object. I want to come Group. Now they're grouped. So what happens when they're grouped, when I select one, they all move together as a group. I could take this, I could make this smaller, okay, and then I could come on in, edit, copy, edit, paste in front. I could take this second one right here, take it, flip it around, pull this down, okay, and then what I'm starting to do is create more of a pattern. Um, all right, so there we have it. Now let's say that as I was looking at this, I decided, oh, you know what? I want one more of these squares just like this up in this corner. How could I do that? Well, I could ungroup it, copy that shape, paste it. So let's take a look. So if I wanted to ungroup it, I would just come to Object, Ungroup, and then I could select this guy, Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. Now, what you might want to, what you're going to find too, is that you'll start learning some of these keyboard shortcuts. And it's a way to really move a little bit faster. So I'm going to say edit, paste. And here we have this one. I can take this one. I can flip him around again. Sometimes your up and down arrows may work perfectly. I'm going to paste him again. There he is one more time. I want to flip this guy around. and move them over. Okay, then I could select again, and sometimes, you know, I could shift click. What else you could do is just take your black arrow and draw around, a space around all of them, and then object group one more time, edit, copy, edit, paste then what we can start to do is start creating this overall pattern with these objects. Maybe I'd want to fill in some circles and I could go about doing it, this all 
the same the same exact way. Bring this in, bring this over, filling up this space with this um, grouped pattern. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so that's a little bit of a basic intro to the shape tool. Uh, let's just take a look at a couple other things with shape, uh, and there'll be more about shape in videos to come too. All right, so sometimes people actually always feel like um, they don't like when things are hanging off the side like this. And in Illustrator, what you always want to think about is when there's things hanging off the side, is that uh, if you don't, if it's off the side, it will not print. But it's, again, sometimes it really bothers people for this to be the case. So what you need to do to cut the edges is to create a clipping mask. Now I do have videos about a clipping masks, um, but I'm going to just go over creating a clipping mask, and then I'll end this video and talk more about shape and color in the next video. So here goes. Um, what we want to do when we create a clipping mask is we can. Um, all right, so we want to actually just, let's just turn our stroke off, turn the fill off, okay? And let's just keep a simple stroke, all right? And what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna grab my rectangle tool and I am going to, above this all, I'm going to just draw a, um, a stroke around it. Then I'm going to select, select all, okay? And then I'm going to come to object, and I am going to make a clipping mask. And I come to clipping mask and I say make, and now it's cut. Now the thing with um, Illustrator though, is that that little area off the side, it's always there, okay? So maybe visually we like the way this looks better, it's much cleaner, but actually it's very easy for it to come back. We would just come object and we would come back down. Actually, if I selected this all, I, have to, I could select it all again. And then um, clipping mask, and it would just be release. So it's always there. I will end this one here. I'll talk more, a little bit more about color um, in videos, and we'll get more into shape um, in some of the other videos. So thanks for listening.